Hey, ready to do some training today? Wait, wait, don't freak out. It's, uh, it's me. Remember? I met you on the road yesterday, you were dying, I resuscitated you. So you do remember. Right, well, hey, don't worry about, you know, freaking out. I, I get it. It is an odd feeling waking up in a different bed than you're used to. But, hey, don't fret. I'm sure it'll feel like home in no time at all. Now then, shall we grab our things and head out for today? It's a nice day out. Not too many clouds, gentle breeze. It's a, a good day for this time of year. Not too cold either. Oh, uh, uh, don't worry. I, I don't mind pulling this thing. Oh, but um, can you readjust that long wooden box? It might slip out. Uh, don't open it. It's best if it stayed closed for now. But uh, yeah, how are the new clothes? Not too bad, right? Once you arrived yesterday night, I was sure to ask the tailors to make you a fresh set of clothes just for you. It's it's comfy, right? Yeah, I think it looks nice on you. They're actually nice to move in, but, you know, they don't look too bad either. Hmm, and you can ask them to embroider whatever you want. I actually have my own crest right here, on the left breast of my garment. Uh, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll come up with something that fits you in time. Oh, hey. We're here. In the ocean. It seems so nice to me. It's a nice beach. I actually don't come here very often because, well, I'm usually assigned somewhere to the east. But, well, I, uh... I wish I could come here more often. And it's kind of cool you can still see the castle off in the distance. Yeah, way up there. Hmm. I wonder what they're doing in there right now. Anyways, um, why don't we just uh, pull our stuff somewhere near the shore? Don't worry, I got the wheelbarrow. Come, take a seat on the rocks. It seems comfy enough to sit here. <sighs> yeah, sit however you'd like. Crisscross applesauce, uh, seiza, squat, extended legs, just, uh, you know, just, just get yourself comfortable. You're gonna need it. Now, um, when I woke you up today, you probably wanted to shoot water beams and start drowning people on land and manipulating their blood, but, um, I think it might be healthiest to do a little bit of mindset training before we get into that. Then we can talk about all the, uh, the practical stuff. Does that sound okay? Okay, cool. Now, um, this might sound a little weird, but I just want you to close your eyes and try not to think about any one particular thing. Don't worry about anything. Just try to get yourself as comfortable as possible. Just, just relax. Now, I want you to just feel everything around you. Listen for the sounds of the seagulls, the wind on your face, the rock you're sitting on, and the ebb and flow of the waters. Back and forth. Almost like a... Almost like a rhythm. But this rhythm, you don't just hear it with your ears. Can you also feel it somewhere deep in your chest? Like a, a warmth? A familiar welcome? Do you remember when you got up this morning? How warm did the bed feel? Was it, was it comfy? Like the sheets, just being a place you want to crawl back into? Yeah, yeah. Now, do you feel that kind of sensation anywhere else around you? That's right. It's all around you. The waters of the sea, they go on and on and on. 
and even the moisture in the air. And way off in the distance, like a song playing in another room, you can even feel the lakes further inward, right? And just having those things around you, it, it feels comfy. Like everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of the same way when it's cloudy. I can almost feel that little static in the air. Like something awesome is about to happen. Just waiting for that flash of light and the quick sound. And that sort of familiarity and comfort, that's the, the better way to think about it. Because if we turn to force when we're calling upon the elements, they change us forever, turning us into something unrecognizable, inhuman almost. But um, let's not worry about that right now. Right now, all I want you to think about is that warm blanket you woke up in this morning. Can you bring it here, right above us? Just remember that comfort. <laughs> Ugh, you made me wet. But wait, nice, yeah, that, that was a good one. That feeling, like, uh, like seeing an old friend. That's how you can make water the, uh, the healthy way. And how exactly does that work? Well, I don't really know where the matter comes from, but hey, it works, right? Nice. Well, you remember yesterday, right? When you were able to, to summon it? I saw you had a lot of strength, actually, which is good, but the way that it came out, it was kind of, I don't know, strained, I, I guess. It reminded me of an old memory. And what we want to do today is make sure those powers are with good intentions. Because when it's life or death, we usually fall back to your training. And if we don't keep our heads on straight, that might just mean losing it. So, uh, for now, I'd, uh, like to give you just one little combat tip, just to start. So, um, can you try to trip me? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just, uh, give me a nice burst of water at the heels. Well, I think you can do stronger than that one. You really gotta want me to fall. <laughs> One wasn't so bad. And actually, the water's kind of nice. Why don't we take a short little break to clear our heads? Then we can start talking about some combat applications. Hop in. <sighs> it's getting a little cold. Can you pass me that bundle of logs in the wheelbarrow? Thanks. <sighs> That's nice and warm. Come, pull up a chair. And I'm getting kind of thirsty. Could you fill my canteen? How? You know, with your summoning thing. Thanks. You know, your fluids don't taste half bad. It tastes like mountain water, actually. <laughs> Very refreshing. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Now, how about that food that Robin packed for us? Mmm, I love fried noodles. Few things beat a bunch of carbs after a hard day. Oh, I almost forgot. There you are. One electrically cooked mackerel. Just to your liking. Well, as to your liking as I could possibly get. I still kind of lack the dexterity when it comes to controlling how much I cook things, but uh, 
Still, I hope you like my cooking too. But, uh, yeah. You know, at this point, I'm guessing you might be wondering why I put such an emphasis on them. Um, staying in control. Well, I, um... Do you ever wonder why I was looking for a new person to use the Amulet of Tides? I, um... You know, the old Knight of Tides was actually my former master. I... I learned a lot of things under her, but, um, well, one day the Legionnaires invaded our hometown and killed everyone, and when we got there, she, she just kind of lost it. She was like a tsunami, killing friend and foe alike, and I, I had to put her down. I mean, it wasn't very hard, just a few Wopley saps for me. You know how water conducts electricity, but, um, I, I just don't want that to ever happen again. And I don't want to lose you either. So if I ever get out of control, can you, can you promise to put me down? And, um, uh, I'll be sure to make it quick for you too. <laughs> but, uh, enough of the sad stuff. Um, since we'll be working together more often, I wanted to give you a little something as a welcoming gift. You're probably wondering what the long wooden box was attached to the wheelbarrow, so, uh, wonder no longer. Here, open it. It's, uh, a glaive. I figured something nice and easy would be a good weapon to start out with for you, and um, when you start getting fancier with your blade work and your footwork, you can start doing all kinds of spins and sweeps, offending as many men as you can swing towards. I think it'll grow nicely with you. And um, if you ever want another weapon as your primary, don't worry. I won't be too offended. Oh, and uh, take a look at the glaive head. I electrically etched some water motifs along the blade. So, uh, yeah. I, I hope you like it. Now then, why don't we have our little snack and then head back to the castle? If I remember correctly, I think the king's heir really wanted to have some tea with us. Why? I have no idea, but hey, why turn down an opportunity for free pastries? Now, back to dinner. Um, can you pass me the salt? <laughs>